Welcome to the ultimate Sova dart guide for Ascent. In this video, I'm going to be showing all, all of my attack darts for both A and B. I have like three recons I use for each bomb site. I have a couple sock dart set up, setups that land in a couple different spots. I have defense recons that stop pushes and help you get picks when they enter the site. I have recon darts for all the bomb sites and multiple different little cute little tricks I'll show you guys. But let's get started with attacking with recons on B. So the first recon is right here. I think everyone knows this one. It's the most self-explanatory. You just shoot it up here on the tree. This one covers every it covers stairs and all over back of site. Besides uh besides back, all the way in the back. All right. So then the next dart is a similar dart, but this one is just landing in a different spot because if you you shoot it on this tree right here, it covers all the same areas. So it covers all of site besides this box. And right here right so the here. one that lands up covers everywhere behind the box and the one on the tree lands everywhere behind right this here. box okay so basically you use these darts to help you clear site maybe get a pick with your alt maybe make a play it does not cover the back of site and it doesn't cover boathouse this is the recon to use to cover boathouse if you want to clear all the close angles you just come in here there's no specific lineup you just shoot it right at the corner of this wall here right at about the draft's mouth so what this does is it clears all of all of boat so people can't have a crossfire in between here and here and it clears a little bit of the guy holding maybe like here with the shotgun trying to get a pick okay so those are the three attacking recons that i use for b and you want to keep using different arrows every round this is a little bit of a bonus recon you do one bounce full charge Revealing area. this will clear just all the close angles this doesn't clear anything special. This is just something different. If This will help you kill the guy who sits here with the Odin, basically. So now if you're talking shock darts, this is this shock dart is from Average Jonas. So what you do is you line yourself right here in the middle of this grate. So now you use the bottom left-hand HUD. So basically, you see right under the HP, the little dot. You put the, the where the black dot is in the bottom left of your HUD under the H, under the uh, the armor bar. You do a two charge right here. Shock dart. So that lands perfectly stairs. But to now make it a double shock dart, you move that same spot down here to the middle of the lamp. Anywhere in this region here. So I'll show you guys what it looks like fast. So you do two. And then you do one bar, one bounce on this one. You know how many kills I get in a comp game? I killed Radiance with this. I've killed pros with it with this double shot dart. It is so good. But don't just shoot this every single time you push B thinking you'll get a kill. Because you'll start expecting it. So if you hear Sova bust his drone, that's when you use it because he's probably sitting stairs with his drone. So forth and so on. Now, if you ta if you shoot your recon on that tree and then you see someone's there, then shoot your double shock dart. Do you know what I'm saying? You want to use it where you think you can actually get kills because you don't want to waste your shock darts at all. Moving on to recon darts on the A-bomb site for attacking. First lineup is Giza showed me this one. You walk up to this box in this corner. Then you scoot over until you can line your crosshair up right here in this corner. And then what you do is you do right above this flag here with a one bar. Area. Right above the tip of the flag. And it lands somewhere on this right here. This clears all of sight besides hell. And it clears even a little bit of heaven. So this dart will get everything besides like right here, 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 and hell. Right here. Okay? So this dart is one of the best darts that I use because a lot of people expect you right to shoot here. it on this wall. So that's why if you put it up, it's a little bit better. Now another recon dart. This one is easier to do and more on the fly. You come over here. You see this spot right here? This black bar? You just move it over and you do it one bar. So this just lands in the default spot that everyone knows. And the key is with this is to continue to move your recons so you have different setups. Now, this recon right here is from Sinatra, the one I just did, and this one here. So, this one is a... So, you see, you put this brick right here. You put your armor plate in the middle of this, and you do a one bar. So, what this does is it covers everywhere on site but right here. So, that's why when Sinatra says to do this, you come over here, and you line up your shock darts. You put... I'll, I'll shoot recons, for example. So, you just put, put both your shock darts, just one clicks right there. And this will do damage to the person who's sitting around right this here. region trying to dodge your recon. Now, I've only got one kill with this. It's not super easy to get kills with. I would use your shock darts for more important situations. But that one, that one is really fun to do. Now, the, another recon that I have is from right here. This one I created myself with my friend Disturbed. So, so you this one is complicated. So, what you do is you put your crosshair on the tip of this white part here. You do a one bar charge. Then, this lands on that default spot up on the wall okay so then this is the shock dart i'll do them in recon to see where they land so when these two lines meet you do it in the middle one then you do it a little bit lower and then you do it one so you'll see where this lands lands triple and then hell so the goal with this is 
Er, so, so it hits the guy dice, and then he backs up, and then he gets shot by the second shotgun. Have I gotten a kill with this? No. Is it fun to try? Yes. So, because so many people sit. Once you keep putting your shock darts over here, people start sitting here, and this allows you to do some extra damage to this person when pushing the bomb site. This is one of my favorite double shock darts to do. This one lands cat. Now, my biggest tip for you guys is this. Click tab. Say, hey, look. Does this jet have enough money to buy an op? Because if someone on their team has enough money to buy an op, likelihood this kid's going to peak cat. Don't just do the shock out of your own thinking you're going to get a kill. Do it based on the prediction of reading the enemies and knowing if they're going to peak cat. So if you think jet's going to have an op, tell your teammate not to smoke it. Tell your teammates to not peak link. And you come over here and you do the shock dart. Back yourself up into this box. You do this based on prediction. If you just do this every round, you're not going to get a kill. So what you do is the bottom left hand corner of your drone. You line it up with the white tip of this right here so where my crosser is but with the bottom green part of the drone or if you don't have the drone it'll be uh that part will be like clear so what you do is a two charge right here then what you do is the middle of the left drone wheel you drop it down and put it right here on this bar in like lined up with the green thing on this bar so what this looks like in fast succession is you do two bar here you drop it down right here into a one bar And this will insta-kill this kid holding this angle with an op. And I've gotten so many early picks in a round with this. I've even killed pro players with this shock dart. It's honestly a good laugh. So, another set of attacking recons is this. What you do is you line yourself up, give or take, with this wall, meaning this wall. So, about here. Then you do a double shock a little bit above. You do a two charge right above this. See where this lands? Lands about right there. And if you do a one bar... Or if you do a full bar one bounce right here, lands right here. So it lands a little bit tighter. And if you want to make this even tighter, you can back it up a little bit. And then it'll go further back. You follow me? The more you back up when you do this, it'll go further back and mess with the enemies. All right? This is sh this shock dart has got me so many assists. Because if they're retaking the bomb site and you're sitting down main, you just shoot those darts and you'll, you'll just deal so much damage. All right, guys. So another recon I have is this. So this is one of my favorite strats to do. This is a this is right here is a dart I got from watching Heat go during a tournament. So what you do is when your teammates get up to mid cubby, like right, right here, here, like they've cleared this initial right corner and they're sitting right here. You say, all right, let me know when you guys want to see the dart, and then you put it right here. You do a full bar, no bounce. Look what this lands right under this tree. So what this does is it helps your team do this push. It helps clear all these angles all through here and all up in this whole room here. So this allows your team to get through tree and make that push. So this helps you isolate the tree guy to get that pick or you use this to clear tree so your teammates can do an A split. Now, if you're splitting A, you're way more likely to win the round than if you're just all five through B main or all, all five through A main. So that is one of my favorite darts to do. But you have to have coordination from your team. You have to tell your team what to do. You have to tell them to wait on cat. Let me know when to shoot the dart. And then you shoot the dart and then you clear it. And then after you shoot that dart, you run right up. And then you have your teammates help you clear generator. Right and if you want to shoot darts on the fly, you can do this. Literally just one bar is off this back box. Or one bar is off this wall. Or one bar is off this wall here. To just, if you know someone's sitting there. But a lot of the times, the second you pull your bow out, they're going to peek you. So you want to be careful of that. But that is all the knowledge I have for attacking on this bomb site. But my biggest tip for you is when you're playing Sova on this map is you have to use your darts usefully, bro. Because so let's say you use your dart, take the bomb site. Now your recon's on a 15 second cooldown. Now you're waiting for them to end to the bomb site. Now you just sit here like this. You watch your back, you clear your back, and then you get ready. You come over here and you're just sitting. Now you're like, now you just wait. And when your teammates call them, so this is when you're when the enemies are starting to walk out here, getting ready to drop. That's when you just shoot this recon up just anywhere on the wall, because this will be smoked. And then you start popping shots at these enemies through the smoke and try to help your team get kills. And then you can try to time the guys coming through the door and peek through the smoke and try to get kills. It's all about using your silver util smart. If you pop that dart too early, you might lose the round. Like that dart could be what wins you the round. So make sure you have your darts and use them usefully. Next thing I got for you guys is defense darts for a bomb site. So when you're playing A or B, I hate sending my arrow right away. So what people, so many people will do is they'll just do this right off rip. Revealing area. So I'm lagging a little bit because I'm doing some uploads right now. But what you can see is you just shoot your recon. So let's say you shoot this recon and now the enemies break that dart. You know they're aiming. Now what? 
if they hard push you, you're screwed. So what I typically like to do is I will just sit here and spot a main out. The second I see someone or the second there's smokes and flashes coming out, I back up to here. I do uh, I do a one bounce full charge right off somewhere in between these two windows. And this dart will land somewhere up here, which gives the enemies a hard time to break it. So then you can just start popping these guys through the smoke. And if you're going to do this, I would suggest you have a phantom because otherwise they'll know you're shooting through the smoke because of the vandal, you can see the shots. Another dart you can do is just come over here and just shoot it up against this wall. Because it's so hard for the enemy to turn around up behind them and break that dart instead of just looking up to the right like the one over here and just breaking it. So if you put it up here, it's just 10 times harder for them to break. I save my recons for when they enter the bomb site because they're at their most vulnerable state when they're entering the bomb site. They're all spamming their abilities. They're all checking corners. So if you put that dart above and behind them, you know how many times I'll get a pick through this smoke and then just fall back. So I'll shoot that recon, get that pick. Or try to anyways then I'll fall back here and this is what you do for this you line up right here this is not a double shock dart but this is a single shock dart so what you do is you come over here give or take you I usually free ball this and then you do one bar one bounce and I'll show you with the recon and this lands perfectly generator and it'll just 90 somebody perfectly if they plant generator okay so this is what i use to get so much damage out and this is what i use when they're planting the bomb so i go for the recon try to get a pick if i don't get the pick or if i do get the pick i back off and try to stop the plant now this is just me trying to get extra damage dealt with my shock darts and this shock dart i've gotten so many kills with it's super helpful all right now the next shock dart i have is retake shock darts so what you do is this is a sinatra shock dart so this basically this shock dart covers this area right here the person holding this spot right here to kill you when you walk in all right so what you do is you line up right here and not, you use the side the bottom left of your charge bar for this the bottom left hand corner so you line the first one up in this crack right here and do a one bar and then you line it up at this red part and just do a one so you can see where both these darts land like right, right here this will kill this person holding this angle so to clear under heaven you can just double sh double bounce off of Shut any down. of this box that one lands deep left this one Shut lands down. a little bit closer to the middle and this will just do so much damage and so what i do is now i take my recon drone take pop my recon drone and i check here i try to hope no one breaks my drone so i can get my drone into hell and tag someone because if you tag someone it's a for sure 100 percent kill through that wall or what you can do is shoot your recon like this and it'll clear hell for you this always gets broken and i almost never get a ping so that's why i suggest you try to use your drone to tag someone under hell because then it guarantees you the kill because the recon darts typically waste the recon dart i use for retake every time is this one right here you can either you can either shoot it from back here or you can come up close and do a jump shot on it so then you could enter in with it yourself this will usually get one or two pings that clears every single corner on the entire bomb site besides this right you literally can't sit anywhere else okay maybe you can sit right here if you're cheap but you'll just get dumpstered if you sit right there so that's basically how i retake on the a bomb site i just make sure i calm with my teammates all right recon i've recon in five i'm gonna drone hell shock darting here i call out to my teammates what i'm doing so we can time our push in together with my recon dart do you know what i'm saying and I got a bonus shock dart for you guys. I'm going to do this in recon so you guys can see. So you put your crosshair right here. You do a two charge. Then you put your the left diamond right here. Right where my crosshair is. You put the left diamond here. Like the tip of it. And just do a one. So you can see where both of these land. This is a double shock dart from Average Jonas. So they both land right, right here. here. So what I calm to my teammate at, at the start of a pistol round is go, Hey bro, can you just can you just spot peek A main? So you do this with, the, with your ghost on a pistol round. So what that does is it keeps the enemies right here trying to fight you. So they're just going to be like this, trying to fight you. And then the shock darts get free kills. You know how many times I got a free kill by having my teammate bait for me and getting that shock dart A main? It's a really good shock dart, but the only thing that sucks is then you're busting both your shock darts off the rip of a round. Because you have to shoot those darts instantly, so you're shooting them before you know they're there. So you're preying on a little bit of luck and a little bit of hope. And then the, the teamwork to help you finish that kill off. But let's move on to the B-bomb site. I'm going to show you guys how I defend in the B-bomb site and when to use and when not to use your recons. So what a lot of people do when they play solo is they go, all right, start of the round, boom, recon. So what this does is it tells you if someone's B-main or not, okay? 
but I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna tell you nine times out of ten, they're gonna tell you if they're being man or not, and you don't have to shoot that shot, that recon. So what a lot of people do is they off rip, they only blind from here to here, so that clears that angle of you holding it. Then what they do is they throw a bunch of random blinds here, and that as that happening, they go put the smokes up, and then they shoot the recon right here. So what I like to do is I, I sit right here. So when that's I what I do is if I hear a lot of them be main. I just sit here with my shot my, with my recon. I shoot it right here. So the second they're executing the bomb site, they're all walking out of B main. And now they're ping, ping, and they have to look all the way up here to break this dart. Or you can shoot it up right here to make it a bitch for them to break. It's all about making them turn their heads so you might be able to get a free kill. So what this recon does is it clears all the way right, through here, this main area, clears all the way through lane. It doesn't clear any of the boathouse. Unless, like, if they're deep in this corner, it won't clear them perfectly because the dart's a little high. But it should clear, like, all of these angles. And then this is a, when you are sitting in this smoke with your phantom trying to pop off and get this kill for free, okay? So then after you get that kill, what you do is you back up here and you line your, you line, after you, after you get your pick to the smoke, you come over here and you line up with this perfectly. With these two items lined up on the wall. So then you aim like right here and do a one bar, one bounce. You see exactly where this lands. Perfectly default plant for you to do 90 damage to this guy. I've gotten so many kills with this shock dart. It's actually unbelievable. So that's why it's better to not bust your shock darts instantly off a rip and just save them for post plant and do extra damage. Now you're not going to be able to do this every single round because they'll just start planting over here every time. So you just got to read your enemies and know what they're doing. So then you can use your shock darts on something else besides for that. So that's when you can come over here and just pop shock darts like this if they're not peeking you you can just clear that back wall another recon i use is the sinatra recon right here so what you do is you back yourself into this corner you do a full bar one bounce off of the middle of this brick so right here all right i did a re i need to do a recon my bad so what you do is right here see where this lands this helps you get a ping on all the people coming out but the why the reason I like mine better because it lands up here is when they're walking out They just shoot this and it might not get a single ping and your plan doesn't work if it gets a ping So if it doesn't get a ping it, it does nothing So that's why it's better you shoot the one up here because then it's a lot harder for them to shoot Because they have to walk out like this to break your recon and like I said, it's about switching it up So you toss it anywhere up here up here up on this wall or then this one So you just keep switching it every round so you can try to catch people, okay? So now our retake dart I have for the B bomb site is as follows. So let's say you're rotating from A and the bomb's already planted B. Your teammates are like market, right B main, and here right getting ready to retake. So what you do is you hop up on this bench right here in the corner. You pull out your bow, do double bounce, and you aim a little bit of... You put your two diamonds in between this thing, but a little higher. So like right here. Revealing and you can... We'll follow this recon. Bounce. 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 So this will land somewhere up in here every time so if you aim it a little bit lower a little bit higher it sh will almost always bounce somewhere in this room and you'll be able to ping people so if you have an op or an odin you'll be able to pin people through this or what this tells you is so let's say you get two pings now you know two people are back sight and now you know two people are in sight or you can just use this recon right here and just shoot it up on the tree you can shoot this from market easily as well this one this one clears lane and it clears sight everywhere but right, right here, here is where that clears. So you can either do the back site clear or the main site clear. That's up to you guys what you want to do. And I usually switch it up because if you get pings back site, you know the other people are in sight. If you get the pings in sight, you know everyone else is back site. And you got to watch out for the one person right who sits here. back and be main and lurks. So let's, let's say you're the B player and they're fucking A. Because you know it happens. All right? Happens every time. So what you do is you come over here. You're like, they're coming A. They're coming A. You look on the minimap. There's rain of flashes coming in. There's smokes. Your teammates are shooting. You come over here. You line yourself up with this dot. Okay? And then you do a two bar. You line your mouse up right here. And just do a two bar. Revealing area. This recon has helped my teammates get so many assists because I can literally sit on the B bomb site when I shoot this dart and I, it pings the entire bomb site. It literally clears every single corner and it's from the B bomb site besides back gen. So this will help your teammates sitting back gen or hell when they start walking out that dart will just ping everybody so they can start picking these guys off. I've gotten so many assists with this dart and so many people do nice dart, nice dart, big dart. You know what I mean? And when you play Silva, that's the type of shit you live for. 
So an extra little dart that I have is right here. This is an average Jonas dart. So what you do is you line up right here. This one has not gotten me any kills, but it's fun to try. And I know it does good damage. We'll do it with recons. So what you do is you line up your crosshair at the bottom left of this brick, like when it, when it changes color. And you do a two charge. Revealing area. So you'll see where this lands. Right there. And then you go right here and just shoot it anywhere right here, like along this line with the one bar or with the no charge one bounce. Okay. I obviously messed out the second shot up. But so what you do is in fast succession, you do this. Revealing area. Shock dark. So that's a double shock that lands right here. So that's when all right, push B guys. And obviously there's someone gonna be someone hugging this wall, and you'll get a kill on this guy hugging the wall. And honestly, guys, I don't have any post plant shock darts in this setup. And the reasoning behind this is because you should not be depending on double shock dart post plants. Because honestly, the amount of times you're going to be in the position to get a useful double shock out, it's going to be pointless. So you sit B main for 10 minutes. I actually have one right here. You sit B main for about 10 minutes. All your teammates now die. Now it's a 1v2. So now you shoot this shock dart right here. Shock dart. Sure, it might land default plant, and it, sure, it might do damage. So let's say you shoot both of those darts, and you don't get that kill, or you do get that kill. They've already had the bomb defuse, bro. And 90% of the double shock darts that exist, you can't really get to the spike fast enough. You are better off with your team, helping your team, and baiting with your team, giving your team information, than just sitting back and being main baiting the shit out of them. So... When, I'm, when I attack, I miss this dart. So if you're attacking on the B bomb site, this is the recon that I use. So so let's say you have the bomb down for about 10 seconds. They grouped up. They're throwing flashes. They're retaking. You come over here. You toss the recon right up here. Revealing area. Then you get this ready and you start pinning these guys through this wall. Because this whole wall is bangable. And you can get free kills by doing that. Or a lot of the times what I do is I literally take my marker out. I right ping here. mark it. And I'll just shoot head level through this wall. And I've gotten kills doing this before too. Obviously, if you have an Odin or something else, it's going to be better. Like a Vandal, it'll do more damage. Or a slightly better pen. But I've gotten so many kills pinning people through the wall with this with this recon. And if you want, you can shoot the recon up there as well. But you just want to have it so it pings like everywhere inside boat. So you can literally shoot it up against this wall too. Just anywhere up against this wall and you'll get a bunch of pings. Basically just make it so that to turn around to shoot it. So you'll get a ping. But this recon is detrimental on you not shooting it too early. Because if you shoot this recon too early, it's useless. And that's the same thing for all of my recon darts. You have to have them perfectly timed where they're going off when people enter the bomb site Or going off not too early or not too late of them entering. Because if you don't, you're going to get screwed. Now, guys, that is everything I have. Wait. It's not everything I have. Next recon darts right here. So what you do is you line yourself up anywhere here with this slit. Right, get the slit right here with the top of this. You do a two charge. Revealing area. Lands right here. And this clears. So I did it a little bit off, but it lands right here. And it clears all of uh, market. Right or all of uh, tiles and all of right like here. the lower part of cat and lower mid. I'll show it again to make sure I do it right. So you line it up like right here. Two charge. Revealing area. There it is. So clears. This is a great spot to shoot that recon dart off the start of the round and then just start alting mar alting tiles because you there's a good chance you'll get a pick that way. And that info is so good. So what I do is you guys know I play with the vexed. So what I do is he's playing cat with like an operator or something. He's like, Cam, shoot the mid dart. So I'll either shoot the dart up here on this because that clears top of mid as well and lower mid, or I shoot the dart that lands up here, which clears all of close mid, lower mid, like here, not back here. But it clears all of this and tiles. So this helps him get an op shot through the smoke on the guy tiles or a vandal kill on any of the guys in this in this region besides obviously down here. So it's about coordination with Sova. And when I I'll sh so if I have an omen playing mid and there's a smoke down, I'll shoot the same dart for that guy to get that information. Alright guys, so that is absolutely everything I know on this map. And so many people are like, dude, Cam, let me see what because people see how I work people on this map. People call me great Sova. Even sub bros are complimenting my Sova on this map. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a showcase to like all the recon darts that I use and all their credit to these recons goes to average Jonas and Sub Bros or Average Jonas and Sinatra. So half 
the the shot darts are almost all average Jonas, and most of the recons are from Sinatra. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you guys want to see another video like this for maybe Haven or some of the other maps I play Sova on. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I stream every single day on Twitch from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. If you guys want to come hang out, it's twitch.tv slash camcam. Thank you guys for hanging out. You guys have a great day.